The most hilarious moment. Hilarious moments. Funny moments. Hilarious. Most funniest. Most hilarious moment. Just gotta hit repeat. The most funniest was uh, when Hulk smashed Loki. That was just out of nowhere. It was like, I'm into stuff like that. Because <laughs> Hulk, you know, he don't talk. So you yelling at him serves no purpose. Smashing ground. And this dude, is, his powers is smash. Why would I talk trash to a guy that can just smash? That was like, I think that was uh, gearing up to like the last, the end of their fight. That big battle that they had. Hulkman, Hulk, the, the, meanwhile, Hulkman just like, climbing on people that's doing other stuff through the air. So he's just like, oh, I need to get up there. All right, you're out of there. You're out of there. You're out of there. Then he's tired. Then he gets up there. Then Loki is just, you know, I'm I'm the badass. I'm sitting here with my stick, his selfie stick, my blue light in it, and just yelling at this dude that just came a hundred stories up from the, from the street level. <laughs> he don't want to hear nothing. And so now you're gonna talk trash to him? All right. Like, why was that the choice though? Like, why was the choice of... Because he's like, talk to him, Yo. He's just sitting there breathing, looking at you like... Because, yeah, he was just staring at him for a while. <laughs> like, that was the most effective thing he thought about. But I wonder what else he thought about. Just leave. I don't even wanna be around Hulk. He just might not know. My favorite, which is so ridiculous, is it was when they showed you that the guy that has to go make Thor's hammer is this giant that lives on this star or whatever, and it turns out to be Peter Dinklage. <laughs> I loved him in Game of Thrones and he really lives up to his character. Like he has no problem about being, you know, kind of a small man. And so it just, I actually really appreciated that this like huge guy that is supposed to like save the day, this giant that lives on a star is Peter Dinklage. But there were some just really, really good moments. So Peter Dinklage is my favorite, that entire story that they did there. There's a lot of funny moments for sure in like movies that I just remember laughing a lot. But one moment that came to mind is actually from Guardians of the Galaxy. Drax, Star-Lord says, he's like, and we're stuck with this like walking thesaurus. And he's like, do not ever call me a thesaurus. And I like just started laughing. And it was just like, <laughs> um, just like how sincere he was and how like how offended. And I was like, does he even know what a thesaurus was? Or maybe thesaurus means something in his <laughs> language that's like really offensive so, <laughs> so that got me I, I got a good giggle from that it's super random I was like one of two people that laughed really hard in the theater it's when spider-man sneaks onto the flying donut in infinity war he sneaks in and like he kind of shocks iron man he's like what are you doing here he's like he's like look I know what you're gonna say and then he's he has this moment where he looks at Peter and he's like, look, I don't want to hear it. And he's like, look, but, and then Peter keeps talking and then like almost ignoring, he was like, I don't want to hear it. He keeps talking, he's like, and now I got to hear it. <laughs> and he's like, look, I mean, you made the suit really intuitive. So really it's your fault. And he's like, what did you just say? And then like, it's just, I was dying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and like one other person. It's not that <laughs> funny, but I found it hilarious. First time I saw the movie. It was a funny scene, but yeah. I was losing my shit. Yeah, yeah like, I, I loved it. Like another good one uh, in the first Spider-Man movie, mm -hmm. when they're taking uh, apart the suit and like reprogramming it. Right. There's a bit where Peter takes like the tracking chip. He goes, all right, happy, have fun tracking this lamp. And he like puts it on the lamp and I don't know what it was about the delivery, but I was in tears. <laughs> I guess it's like a montage sort of scene for me. The end credits when he goes and resets all the timelines. The Deadpool one, because he has some dialogue with uh, Wolverine. Yeah. Kills his, his himself twice. He kills Deadpool from <laughs> from, from X-Men Origins, and he yeah. kills uh, Ryan Reynolds reading the Green Lantern script. Oh, man, yeah. Like, there were there were moments in the movie that I, I, was, I was laughing, but I was cracking up the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And it was when they're all jumping out of the plane and every character in the X-Force dies is when he has the baby legs. And he's walking towards yeah. Cable and Josh Brolin's like, no, God, yeah. please stop. Yeah. Travels back to the 1800s to kill Hitler. But he's like, should I? And then he goes in and... <laughs> I, I really enjoy the uh, smaller moments. 
like the really little uh, hilarious moments. It's it's hard to it's really hard to choose a favorite of these. Like really really hard to choose a favorite. This this is probably my favorite one. Actually, this is this is probably my favorite one, where Tony is trying to come up with a plan to attack Thanos <laughs> or to prepare for Thanos on Titan. Okay. And the Guardians are being the Guardians. <laughs> And Star Lord is uh, trying to, you know, really pay attention. Kind of, he's just waiting to jump in mm -hmm. with his own thing. Uh, Mantis is just testing out gravity back there, yeah. <laughs> jumping up and down. Drax is yawning, and that's when Tony, <laughs> that's when he just, that's when he has. He's like, "Hey, are you yawning? What's going on?" And Drax is like, "Well, yes." <laughs> he's like, "I stopped listening. I was bored. So yeah, I was yawning." And <laughs> And they're all just like, and there's this whole other tangent of Star-Lord now is just like, uh, yeah, this is the team. I have dealt with this for two other films. Uh, I have tried to get them to be a little more professional, but at this point, just kind of don't care. Winging it is not what they do. <laughs> He's like, what do they do? <laughs> take names and kick ass or some shit. <laughs> kick names, take ass. That's what it was. I think it was kick names, take ass. <laughs> kick names, take ass. Yeah, that's right. Bro, I swear they got that from the people that go overseas to go like watch the gorillas and stuff. And the guy, <laughs> that's the the tracker or whatever, he's sitting there telling everybody, "Don't look." But meanwhile, the gorilla just walked past and just slowly grabs his leg and takes him away. <laughs> like what? In like he was like, "I might have a snack here," but he could have literally <laughs> just because he wanted to.